Hey, I'm going to do a short video of Ember Mug, a review for it. I've had it for a couple weeks now. Um, this mug is uh, one that basically keeps the temperature to whatever you've set it up as your ideal temperature. Um, it was uh, no noted on Time's Best Inventions of 2017. So first we're going to turn the mug on. You do that by pressing down for three seconds. And then it basically has hello, says hello. Now I'd name this Tristan's Mug, but it doesn't do the apostrophe and it actually calls it Tristan's Smug. So I'm probably gonna change that. And I set that in the app. Uh, the app is one that you can download. And then basically right now it's empty. Um, I'm gonna take the lid off. If I can do that with one hand, probably not. So get the lid off here. I've already heated up. I'm gonna put tea in it instead of coffee. I've been drinking that more recently. So I've already heated up uh, water with some heavy whipping cream together. And I'm going to put that in there. I'm gonna get my tea. Uh, this is tea forte tea that I already had done a review on. Um, I'm gonna do the Darjeeling one, which is, you know, this Darjeeling, it's a black citrus tea. I'm gonna take this apart here and then put it in to the uh, into the ember mug. The tr this is the travel mug, by the way. They have a, a regular cup, and then we put it there into the into the mug. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes here while I'm waiting for that. I'm going to show the box. This is the box that it came in. Um, it's very iPhone-like type box here. Uh, if I can even get it out of the box. So it was actually inside of this. I'm not gonna pull the whole thing apart. I also got an extra charging base. It comes with one. This is the what the charging base looks like. Usually I keep it constantly on the charging base other than when I'm taking the coffee or tea around with me. And I did want to show right now, it shows the temperature it is, 133. My ideal is set to 128. It can go from 125 up to 145, um, but I prefer 128 for tea, maybe a little hotter for coffee. Um, but it, it comes with the one charging base and I got a second one so that I could have the charging base at home, you know, having the travel mug so that I can take it to the office and, and bring it home as well. Um, so we've done that there. I'm going to actually put honey in this tea and let's see what temperature it is. It's 132 now, still waiting on it. Uh, get my spoon ready when I put the honey in and you know, we're just going to wait here. Usually I wait a few moments, uh, to drink it after it's reached the temperature. Once it's reached the ideal temperature, because I have the phone app, it will actually send a, a, a message to my phone, a notification. Uh, I'm on an iPhone, it'll let me know that uh, it's reached the that ideal temperature of 128. And then it'll keep it at 128. Um, I have found that while I'm drinking it, the, the liquid, as the liquid gets to be less and less, sometimes the temperature changes. Um, it might end up being a little bit above or a little bit below Usually it's a little bit below what I've set. And um, so it doesn't constantly maintain the temperature. Uh, it's just the surface temperature on the outside of what it thinks the temperature happens to be. Sometimes the temperature, uh, you know, like I said, goes up or down and you have to wait a few moments for it to change it again. I've also found that um, it's easier for it to drop the temperature than to raise the temperature. So I've put uh, things tea tea in or coffee in and that's been like 120 degrees 118 degrees it'll note that it's cold and then give you the option to to keep you know to increase the temperature for it because uh, it can keep it cool if you want for a long period of time uh, but anything below 125 it can't maintain that specific temperature um, and when it's below 100, 125, like 118, 120, it takes quite a while to get up to the 128 temperature versus um, if it's hotter, it seems to cool down faster and get to my ideal temperature a lot more quickly. 
Um, and I did want to show too the, the the bottom here is actually can be can be rotated. It's it's impossible for me to to show that with the camera, but if you rotate it, you can actually manually change the temperature up or up or or or, or down what you've set it to. The um, otherwise, I basically set the te set the temperature in the app itself. Um, but if you decide, oh, that would like a little hotter or a little co cooler. Uh, within that 125 to 145 range you can you can change it so i'm going to go ahead now and uh it's almost reached my ideal temperature here i'm going to well i should bring my cup over here because i don't want to i don't want to uh get get a whole bunch of tea everywhere you know and i'm not i'm not that adept at holding the camera and, and everything at the same time and then i'm going to put my honey in and then I'm gonna drink it, and I, I don't really think I need to show the honey, um, putting the honey in, but, uh, oh, and one one last thing I do wanna say before I, I complete the review. The, um, the uh, temperature, uh, like I said, uh, can can uh, change, but the, the biggest thing about it, uh, this is that you also cannot microwave this, this cup so I have to use a separate cup, and the uh, that's why I had it in this cup. And but you can wash it, not in a not in a dishwasher for the the main cup, but you can wash the outside and the inside and even the bottom um, in a regular sink. Um, and you can wash and the lid is is my it's not microwavable. It's a dishwasher dishwasher safe, but not the cup. And all you, all that you they they say to do is make sure that uh, the bottom which looks like this, um, is is dry before you put it on the charging stand. And the charging does take a slight amount of time. Uh, I think it took me about, I'm trying to think when I first got it, it was pretty low uh, when I first received it. And it, it took about an hour, I think, to charge. And it does seem like, obviously, if you keep checking the temperature, the charge keeps going down frequently, um, you know, if you don't have it on the charger. So... Uh, I really do enjoy this mug. It's a little, it's a little pricey right now. Uh, they had some December specials going on, uh, Black Friday, in November as well, and uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with this purchase. Uh, so hope you give give it a chance if you would be interested in this kind of technology. Thanks.